Hi, I'm Ryan with... And we're going to see how long it takes me to grow my beard back. In the meantime, we're going to check out this guy, which is the Nicerizer Analog Summing Mixer from Phoenix Audio. There are two versions of it, the Nicerizer here and the 16MK2. The difference is that the MK2 has XLR inputs on the rear, and this has DB25 inputs on the rear. Other than that, they are the exact same unit, and they are very, very cool. You have an all-metal enclosure. You have nice big knobs. These are detented. You do have a stepped knob here. These are variable, but uh, you have very high quality components. You have their discrete op amp. You have their custom wound tr output transformers, which gives that signature Phoenix sound, which I describe as an hourglass. You have this nice airy open top end, tight balanced punchy mids, and a big dimensional bottom end. And uh, this unit here belongs to Robin of Phoenix Audio. He was nice enough to leave it with us for a little while when he came down to visit uh, last month. So for some of the folks here, this is an introduction for me. I use Phoenix Breeze in my home studio, so I'm very, very familiar with the line and love it. I love the sound that it offers, and this is no exception. Let's take a look on the rear of the unit first. Here you see your 16 inputs over DB25. At the top you have your bus inserts. Below that you have your aux output. Below that you have your two-track return. Now this is for feeding, say, from a tape deck or a CD player or something of that nature and allows you to monitor that off of the headphone outputs on the front. This does not feed into the bus output. And then you have your XLR main stereo outputs. This is what you'll use to return to your DAW. And then of course you have your IEC power cable input. On the front of the unit you have your 16 channels. These are your pan pots, which are really nice. You also, on each channel, have a drive switch. This is to drive the output transformers, get more saturation, more character from the unit, more of that silky champagne hourglass sound that I was talking about. Here, I'm going to look at the camera screen over here for a second. This is your monitor section. This allows you to select between all of your inputs, your stereo inputs, your auxiliary input, your two-track return, and your main output, and this gives you your independent volume control so that you can monitor on headphones any aspect, and it is switchable from stereo to monitoring only the left side and monitoring only the right side. Very, very cool feature that really lets you dive into this unit. I, for one, personally like the fact that each channel has a pan. I do, because this is a summing mixer, right? You're mixing. This gives you the ability to mix without solely relying on your DAW. And this, in my opinion, gives you more control over why we use analog summing, right? One of the major reasons we use analog summing is for imaging. We want wider stereo imaging. We want more front to back depth, which the saturation can definitely give you. And we, of course, want the extra headroom, of course. but Having those pans to really be able to dial in that width is very, very important, and that is why you'll love this. This is a stereo width adjustment. You can set it to in or bypass, but this gives you the ability to really drive how much width, or if you want to narrow things up, on the stereo output. And then you have your main output here. This is totally variable. Both of these are totally variable, so you can just dial in, kind of fine tune things. And overall, this gives you a ton of capacities of analog summing. Again, it's not just about having that front to back. It's not just about having that stereo width and the headroom and the punch and the detail and the saturation. It's the culmination of all of that with that signature Phoenix audio sound and build quality. So these are great units to have. Again, if you want it simple and you just want DB25s, you can get this guy or the MK2 if you like traditional balanced XLR inputs. But these, if you love the Phoenix sound, this is a great way to have that sound across the board. And of course, with analog summing, you don't just have to use it on a complete mix. You can process 
your drums through this, right? You can take your multi-track drums and run your drums through this and process that. And then, of course, with the inserts, say insert a compressor and then come out stereo and then make, you know re-record that into your session and have a completely processed two-track to blend up under your multi-track and do some very unique parallel processing in that regard. Or, of course, once you've done all of that processing, run your entire mixes through it. And of course, if you have a lot of synthesizers, a lot of people will buy these and they will just hook up a bunch of synths, eight stereo synths, and then they'll just sum things through that way or have the ability to have all their synths hooked up with one output so it makes it a lot easier when they're tracking. They don't have to repatch things or use patch bays or anything like that. Everything's going into a summing mixer, always stereo outs into the same stereo ends, but they have the ability to always have their synths available and just turn on or off whatever synth they need to use and go on the fly. So very, very handy units, very powerful units with a lot of great features, killer signature sound, very well built. Uh, like I said, I use Phoenix Audio mic pre's in my home studio. I have for almost a decade now and I absolutely love that sound. Build quality is top notch. Cannot go wrong with anything from Phoenix Audio. So for more information on the Nicerizer, all the great products brought to you by Phoenix Audio and for all your pro audio needs, please check us out on the web at frontendaudio.com. Thank you.